Hey folks, Kiltman here. Kiltman at your services. How are you all? Hope you're all doing very, very well. Now, this is the wee small hours of the morning and the trailer for Furiosa dropped from, I don't know, was it a big Comic Con festival in Brazil with director George Miller. You can see his name on the screen right now. George Miller and star Anya Taylor-Joy and other star Chris Hemsworth in attendance. Now, you guys all know I'm a massive, massive Mad Max fan. I mean, I didn't just throw this number on just for the sake of it, did I? And have been since 1980 and 1979 when Mad Max, the first one, dropped. And I followed it all the way through. And I love, love, love Fury Road. To me, Mel Gibson is still Mad Max. No question. But Tom Hardy did really well. As a guest star in his own movie. No, Fury Road's fantastic. And of course, Charlize Theron played Furiosa, Imperator Furiosa, with her robot arm. And, uh, and much heroism and chivalry and nobility is born out of the wasteland and all the savagery and barbarity that exists therein. And I loved it. I loved the hype for it. I loved the movie itself. In the first week alone, I saw it several times in one day in full Tom Hardy costume and had a right old time with it. I saw it every day for about the first eight, maybe nine days, sometimes more than once a day. And my son loved it as well. And we got all the comic books and all the art books, everything to do with Fury Road. And I've got everything to do with the first three movies as well. But Fury Road was amazing. And uh, then, of course, well, George Miller, he's no spring chicken. But the guy is the most vivid, kinetic, fabulously visionary director since Ridley Scott in his heyday. Ridley Scott now, I mm, he's a bit older and he's losing his marbles. Just my opinion. But there you go. But George Miller has only got better and more incredibly visceral and more ingenious uh, with his stunts and his storytelling. And I, I, I just love his stuff. Now, my son was a massive sort of follower of the whole genesis of Furiosa, this spin-off movie. There's no Mad Max in this movie. It's just Furiosa, who's not now played by Charlize Theron, but played by Anya Taylor-Joy. Joy Joy, on my part, because I love her as well. And it's it's her prequel to Fury Road. It's her story, her odyssey. And uh, so my son's been following it all. But you guys know me, and uh, there's no Max in this movie. So I was kind of like, I know it's going to be great, but I'm going to just cut myself off from it. So I've not followed any of the, well, bits and bobs of it. I knew who the casting was. I knew all that kind of stuff. But I didn't follow any behind the scenes gubbins and stills and rumours. But my son did. And he was going like, Dad, it, it drops tonight. It, the trailer drops tonight. And yeah, so here we are now. And uh, I'm building this up. Uh, he's seen it. I haven't seen Because you know what happened? Because it dropped half 11. And I've been out drinking poos. And uh, I've kind of gone to bed. He said, I'll, I'll wake you up. But it dropped at half 11 and I, I had nodded off completely. So he tried to wake me up and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it in a bit. So we're now, it's half two in the morning. And uh, yeah, so we're going to watch it now. Now, we're, we're in the realms of Kilt Mansion, so I can blast this out to my heart's content. So don't, don't worry about any neighbours giving it loads. And even if they do... I've got this, my trusty wee sawn off shotgun. So, and an absolutely depleted supply of whiskey. Oh, darn it. He's seen it, he loved it. His eyes were on stalks. He says, I've just come down to put it on and do this. And he's like, oh my God, you're gonna love it. It's gonna, you, you the film comes out in May, 2024 
We are now, well, it's half, it's half two in the morning. We are now the 1st of December, 2023. So it is literally Christmas time. And uh, he said, this is going to blow you away. You are going to be utterly Mad Max besotted for the next few months and after the film comes out. And of course, there's no Max in the movie. Anyway, anyway, look, let's get on with watching this because I've teased myself so much with that. That image on screen right now. And yeah, I'm doing it old school. I'm not one of you, you know, your influencer YouTubes and all that. YouTubers that can just, you know, flick screen and all that, like, and go straight into a big video discussion afterwards. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play this trailer now and we're going to watch that. I'm going to react to it. And then I will probably tomorrow at some point or later today do a big discussion on once I've formulated my ideas and wow, and tempered my excitement, I will uh, do a proper big video on it. So in the meantime, cheers, folks. Look at that. That's nothing. I know. It'd be like, I have to use the, uh, the red rag from Mad Max to snaffle up all the guzzoline that's going spare. Only in my case, it'd be whiskey. Someone else has got up as well. That's a bit annoying. Which means that my voice has already activated other dwellers within the mansion. So we could be in shit here. But anyway, let's just do it. So, right. From Mastermind George Miller. Okay, here we go. And I've cracked the sound up. So let's just... Whatever you have to do... Long it takes. Well, it's the pure me, aesthetic from Fury Road, home. Namibia. Furiosa. That's my reflection there. This promise. Forty-five years after, a young Furiosa is taken from her family. She will devote the rest of her life to finding her way home. This is her odyssey. Is that Chris Hemsworth? War boys! Immortan Joe? Oh, those spiky bomb lances. That's Hemsworth in a, in a, a Thor cape. Oh, that's the old motherland. When it was fertile before it became the bog. Tom Bear, isn't it? Who played Athos and Musketeers as the uh, young Immortan Joe. The question is <laughs> Do you have it in you to make it epic? That's Hemsworth. Hell. And I'm watching it on my screen, not on the screen that you're looking at. Oh, sweet Jesus, that. Well, we're going to watch it again, aren't we? That is fucking amazing. What did we see there? Furiosa gets abducted from her homeland, from the mothers and all that. Um, and obviously gets... Because Chris Hemsworth has the... I don't know, he, he plays Dementus and he's got a biker horde or something, uh, a warring clan. He is a warlord. He will challenge Immortan Joe and know that. We see that there, the, the face off there, or nose off. <laughs> that nose. 
<laughs> he's got a big fucking user on him. And uh, but initially, when you see him, you know, you, you you're like, I knew I knew who he was, but I thought, is it is it really? Later on, he's got the cape flying and he's driving the car and all that. The buggy that was clearly um, Chris Hemsworth. There, it looked looked like Thor just giving it loads. Um, the War Boys are back. <laughs> this is the, the but this so it's the young Furiosa, but the An Anya Taylor Joy character. When how much younger is she meant to be than Charlize Theron in? Fury Road. It's hard to tell, isn't it, really? Um, the action and the visuals look incredible. Incredible. Uh, yeah, it, there's a bit of raw CG there be because, well, it's a trailer. So it's not finished off, is it? It's a trailer. They pumped this out there. Um, Fury Road was laden with enormous swathes of CG. But, and it's important to remember this, all the stunts and and effects and car crashes and vehicle overturns and bodies flying everywhere were real, real stuntmen, real practical stunts. The CG was to embellish the landscapes and maybe smooth over some of the effects as well, some of the actual stunts and rolling and you know um, stuff going on. So the CG in Fury Road is elaborate and huge. The CG in that trailer looked to me to be a bit more raw, a bit more primitive, but it still looked bloody good because you know that's going to be polished off. And you know George Miller is going to use armies of real stuntmen to do all of those insane stunts and tumbling over vehicles and overturnings and crashings and immolations and stuff like Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. Whatever you have to do. So an overturn bike. However long it takes. That's me coming back from the pub. Promise me you'll find your way home. And the Aussie accents are in full effect. Furiosa. Give me this promise. Is that the road from the, the, the tanker overturning? Mad Max, it looks like it. But I know they, they, they filmed it in Namibia again, so. I love, I love those titles. The scroll flying towards you. And by the way, this music is incredible. It's Tom Holtenberg again, you know, Junkie XL, who did Fury Road. So he's got his, his sort of strappy bondage armour on. Lady and gentlemen. <laughs> that, that looked quite CG there, to be honest. The face off, in fact. That colour scheme. It's Thor! <laughs> You saw bullets there, so that's the bullet farmer. You'll have the people eat it. The darkest of angels. Bikes on top of that car there. Twin motorbikes. He's got a sniper rifle. There's the robot arm. There's Thor again. Do you have it in you to make it epic? Of course, they did that effect. The bike going under. Big rigs, wheels. <laughs> God, that music, Jesus, that's fabulous stuff there. Of course, you can see that would be all stuff I've looked at it previously, and you can see there the guy with the um, the tartan shirt on, sleeveless tartan shirt, and the, and the big AT style hair, and a tartan bandana as well. That's Stuart Adamson, one of my all-time favourite heroes from the, the band Big Country. 
Born in Manchester, moved to Glasgow, became a Scottish icon. Uh, and one of my, I've met him several times, and the poor guy commits suicide. But I, that's from Barrowlands. That's um, probably a thousand stars. The song a thousand stars from a performance at Barrowlands, um, Glasgow, way back in the early eighties, and uh, it's phenomenal. That's why that's there. Cause I play it all the time. But um, wow, wow, folks, that's ah, that's got me fi fired up. God, that's amazing. It's got all the adrenaline. It, it doesn't tell you too much. You introduce the characters, but you don't know who they are unless you've read up. And I, and I know who some of them are, obviously. And a young Immortan Joe. Um, obviously, all them bullets cascading down, and you've got, like, um, Dementus, which is Chris Hemsworth, trying to claw his way back up with his red cape on. Notice at the start, he has, like, a white cape on. Um, well, that's the bullet farmer, obviously. So you're going to get young versions of all these guys that you met in Fury Road and the fledgling religion of, um, you know, the war boys and how they came to be with all their faces caked and all that. Like, so they're all ailing with cancer, aren't they? And, uh, and they always, they, they, they want to go with Joe to uh, Valhalla or Valhalla, as they say in Fury Road. And they, they, all, they believe they're dead. They're almost jihadists already. It's kind of like a clever spin on that because they've, they, they know, they only live for like greasing up the engines and all the carburetors and all that from vehicles. They're all, you know, black thumbs. They all know how to do all that. But life beyond that, they need blood from any wandering uh, traveller in the wasteland like Max. And they need blood to keep themselves alive. But they've already given their lives and pledged it to go into uh, Valhalla. And they, they chrome their teeth, don't they, and all that. Oh, Jesus. It's... Wow. I don't know about you folks, that, that's fucking got me fired up as hell. May next year. The other big film next year I'm looking forward to, Robert Eggers' take on Nosferatu. The date for that release got dropped the other day. And when is it? Oh yeah, it's coming out in, in 2024. Yeah, so just a few weeks off. You know, 2024. But no, it drops officially released theatrically on December 25th, 2024. Christmas Day next year. Oh, for real. But at least we've got this. Now, this film was delayed as well. This film was delayed, but it's coming out. Uh, so I'm not sure what the official date. Did it say? But it probably said as well. I can't remember now. But um, May 2024. Oh, gee, uh, there's no Mad Max in this movie. Will you see an interceptor in the background going across the sand dune? I don't know. Uh, probably not. But um, that's blown me away. That's got me absolutely fired up. Like I'm going to sleep now tonight. No, I'm going to have to. going to have to go back. So <laughs> anyway, che cheers you all. There'll be nothing for breakfast. Right. Oh, fuck it. Let's do it again. Go on. Whatever you have to do. However long it takes. Promise me you'll I mean, find the, your way home. There are shots of a, a kid on a Here motorbike as well. Uh, being driven into a citadel. Give me this promise. That does not look like the um, the road made from Mad Max 2. So 45 years after the collapse. The timeline's fucked up again, isn't it? But George Winner doesn't care about that. Max is different in each movie and the timelines are skew if. How could he have been a driver? This is 45 years and it's still before Fury Road. How could Max still be, you know, young enough? It doesn't work, does it? But Miller doesn't care about that. Each film is its kind of own standalone story. Start your engines. That looks wrong, that, that shot there.
That's that's a great shot, that. There's stuff there I really don't know. Like that bit, the, the kid on the bike there. Who's that? Is it meant to be here, younger? I don't know. It's chariot. It's like our oh, put colour, see it? The question is... Do you have it in you to make it epic? Do you have it in you to make it epic? Oh, did it say the fucking date then? Oh! Right, folks. I'm going to come back later on today with a video discussing that and uh, in a bit more detail, perhaps. But just wanted to get a reaction video out to it. But there you go. I'm going to see you all. And yes... It's minus four at the moment, minus four. So underneath the jacket, I've actually worn the little little jumper that Tom Hardy wears. Although I'm still sporting the Mel Gibson red rag. I'll be back from the wasteland. Take it easy, y'all.